guys, welcome back to my channel. My name is Britt and this is Coffee and Makeup. So a long, long time ago on a channel much like this one, some of you all submitted questions for a Q&A and you probably have lost hope that they're going to be answered, but today I am actually finally answering your questions for my Q&A from, let's see, over a year ago. <laughs> All right, Princess Tasso asks, how old are you? I'm in my mid 20s and some of you guys assume that I am like 19 or something. That's not true, I'm in my mid 20s. Laura Jeeve asks, what is your profession? I'm actually an accountant. Nima asks, how much confidence do you feel when you wear makeup? What is your opinion about makeup? Really good question. So I actually, have a little bit of like social anxiety and before I wore makeup it was like way way worse and when I was in like the beginning of college I discovered foundation and makeup and I would wear a full face every day because it would help me feel more confident in myself and my social interactions with people and now it's like I don't know, five years out from that time, five or six, and now I'm getting way more comfortable going without makeup, like I will exercise without makeup, I'll go to the grocery store without makeup, and I find that I don't really have the same level of anxiety that I used to have about people like looking at me and perceiving me uh, without my makeup. So. I feel like it's it's whatever, you know, if that helps you, if makeup helps you feel confident, if it makes you less anxious, then go for it. I mean, why not? Why not use makeup? And of course, if it makes you feel pretty, then that's great too, because you should feel pretty. But um, if you don't need it for that, then don't wear it. I feel like it's just like anything else. Do what you want to do. Makeup's no different. Okay, Brian George asks, do you have a boyfriend? How tall are you? And can you do a handstand? I do have a boyfriend. I've had the same boyfriend for five years. Uh, his name's Tom, he's amazing. I am 5'7", and I can do a handstand, but I'm not doing it on here, because I feel like there might be some ulterior motives for this question about handstands. So no, I'm not doing it, but I can. Okay, Cornball asks, totally relevant question. If you were a superhero or villain, what would your powers and name be? <laughs> I have no idea how to answer this. So I think I would be remiss if I did not include my hair in my superhero, super villain. I'm gonna go super villain. So if I didn't include my hair, I feel like that would be a mistake. So I'm going to say that my powers would be just whapping people with my braid because that's actually a real life power that I have. I have used my long ass braid to hit people with. <laughs> and my name would be, I'm gonna say something that plays off of that power. My name would be Cat of Nine Tails. That would be my super villain. Julie asks, boyfriend, girlfriend video in the future. Unfortunately not, because Tom has privacy concerns that are definitely respectable, and if you guys have noticed, I've never had a friend or boyfriend or anybody on my channel besides for myself. That's because this is my choice to put my face out there and you know, have my face be on the internet forever and whatever I say associated with it. But I never want to put that onto other people, so I don't really vlog with my boyfriend and he would rather not be on the videos, so I respect that. Two Pape asks, when is your next hair update video? Lots of O's. Very funny. I did go a while without making a hair update, but we're back on that now, so okay, I see you. Jess asks, what do you think is the meaning of life? Or, if that's too hard of a question, what is your hair goal length? Thanks, Jess. <laughs> Meaning of life, I'm gonna say whatever you want it to be, so long as you're not hurting everybody else, just pursue your happiness. Live your truth, you know? And then as far as hair goal length goes, I have talked about it before, I don't really have a goal length in mind because I don't wanna disappoint myself if I can't make it there, like whether I have a terminal length that's shorter or if my hair just gets too scraggly and I just can't like bear to look at it anymore. So I don't have a goal length, but guys, I'm just growing and seeing where it goes. Oh, here's my friend Kat. I haven't seen her in a while, but she asks, if you were to write a book, what would it be about? 
I think it would definitely be like a non-fiction. I actually have thought about of writing possibly a book about hair because I think that hair as a concept is really fascinating and the fact that different cultures ascribe different meaning to the hair but there seems to always be a significance in the way people cut their hair, the way they wear it, just across time and culture. So I think it would be really cool to compile that into a book. So I guess if I wrote a book that's what it would be about, although I really don't enjoy writing that much. What is your favorite dish? Uh, waffles. She also asks, how do you keep yourself grounded and when you are having bad days, how do you cheer yourself up? Uh, keeping myself grounded and having bad days, I try to do my mindfulness meditation, which if you guys aren't familiar, it's just all about clearing your brain, focusing on something around you like the sound of your breathing or other external noises or the feeling of yourself just sitting on your chair or whatever and letting your thoughts go by but not engaging with them. So sometimes a bad day is just our attitude, I guess, about the day or about situations. So I find that it's really helpful to just take some time to watch your thoughts progress and realize that, hey, that's not actually totally reality. You know, this is just a thought and I can just let it go and not engage with it. Sometimes that can turn a bad day around really quickly. Hana, I hope I'm saying that right, asks, if you could marry any guy, celebrity, model, etc., in the world, who would he be and why? I would marry Javier Bardem. Not in No Country for Old Men, because I'm not into that whole bowl cut, but I think he is so cute and hunky. And also he's really mature and he was an artist for a time and just watching his interviews and reading about him is just like, I'm impressed. That's a guy I would definitely marry. Nina B asks a lot of questions. One of them is, what would change if you suddenly had 1 million subscribers and became a YouTube celebrity? This is actually, funny enough, not something I want for myself. I get really nervous about having too many subscribers and too much attention. It just kind of freaks me out. Like, I already have my job, that's how I make money. I don't want this channel to be my job at all. It took me forever. My friends were like really egging me on to monetize this channel and I didn't do it for the longest time because I'm like, this is a hobby. I don't want to have any income from this channel. But, you know, it has gotten to the point where I put like several thousand dollars into equipment and they were like, Brit, you need to monetize. Like you're spending all this time and you're buying all this crap. The least you could do is get some money out of it. But either way, like I don't want to have a million subscribers. If I did, I would feel really nervous. I would be nervous that, I don't know, like I would get a lot of hate or people would talk about me on gossip forums. It's just too much attention for me. I'm an introvert, so that's not something that I ever want to have happen. Humble Knight asks, what are your top three favorite coffees? Good question. So I love, there's like a coffee roaster near my house and I feel like the freshest roasted coffee is always the best. So it's probably like my number one. I'm not gonna say the name because I don't wanna like geographically locate myself for any like creepy people out there, but I also really like diner coffee. Like sometimes I get in the mood for an old fashioned, put some hair in your chest, cup of diner coffee, and I cannot be satisfied until I get it. And also Dunkin' Donuts iced coffee with the coconut shot is like my favorite summer coffee. And so since it's summer now, I just got one recently and that is like one of my top favorites in the world. And it's funny cause like chain coffee places have really distinct tastes and I really like the taste of Dunkin' Donuts even though it's not fancy, but it's still really good. Bill M asks, if you met a wizard tomorrow, interesting premise, who could make your hair any length you wanted and of course in perfect condition, how long would it be? Okay, I would say probably ankle or floor length, especially if it was in like perfect condition, I think that would be my ideal length. This person asks, where do you live in the States? I live on the East Coast. That's about as much detail as I'm able to give, but I live really close to the water and in like a really beautiful area. Love where I live. Charlene Williams asks, me to name the countries that I have been to. Canada. <laughs> um, yeah, that's it. I just got my passport recently, so I am planning on visiting my friend Steph. Hey Steph, she watches my channel sometimes, so she may be there. She lives in Germany, so I'm 
really excited to get out of the country and do some exploring with her. Annie Mae asks, what is your favorite DIY hair product? Probably just a simple hot oil treatment is like my favorite in terms of like how it smells and how it feels to apply. It's just so luxurious. So yeah, I just, I guess my favorite DIY is just throwing together in a double boiler like some coconut oil, maybe some almond oil, avocado, castor, whatever I'm feeling, and then the experience of like massaging that into my hair, the coconut smells, the relaxation. Yeah, that's my favorite DIY product to make and I do it pretty much every weekend just to pamper myself. What is your number one tip for long hair? My absolute number one tip is to do those hot oil treatments, moisturize your hair with oils, and that will absolutely help it grow long and healthy. She also asks, are you vegan? No, I'm not vegan. I do abstain from dairy products. That's just because I'm lactose intolerant, but I am not, I'm not vegan. Um, what do you think about dyeing hair with henna powders? I think it's really cool. I love henna hair dye. I get nervous about it for myself because I have an olive complexion and I feel like the reddish tones of henna might clash with my skin. So I haven't fully committed to trying henna hair dye, but I think it's great and I think it's really good for people with cool or pink undertones. Jessica Chandler asks, have you ever heard of a coffee rinse for your hair? I know you're into growing your hair and it's not supposed to help with that, but it's supposed to be good for color and shine. Um, I have used coffee before. I actually made a coffee infused oil treatment, but I've never rinsed my hair with coffee. I could, in fact, I could do it right now because I always have a coffee next to me at all times. But no, I've never heard of coffee rinses and I'm gonna do some research on it. Oh, this is my girl Joshi. She says, hello, I'm curious about your studies. <laughs> what was your major? I studied economics in school and freaking loved economics. I just love the fact that it was kind of like physics and that there were just these laws that govern all of these aspects of economics and then the more I studied it, the more I realized that that's not really true in reality and there's not really an other things equal type of deal in the real world. But anyway, I saved economics and really enjoyed it. Alessandro, not even gonna try for that last name. Do you consider yourself a conservative girl? Do you want to have kids someday? You are very cute, oh my god. <laughs> well, do I consider myself a conservative girl? Not really. Um, I don't consider myself like crazy and out there, but I don't know if I would say I'm a conservative girl. Maybe conservative about some things. Um, do you want to have kids someday? No, I don't actually have any desire to have kids. Um, it's not something that's ever come up my channel, but yeah, just never felt that maternal instinct in that respect. Okay, and the last question is from my girl Sam. She asks, oh my god, this is a lot of questions. First, she asks, if you couldn't drink coffee anymore for the rest of your life, Sam, what the heck? Why are you proposing this? What other drink would you choose to replace it? Probably black tea because there's a comparable amount of caffeine. I could just drink it really fast and maybe get my caffeine fixed for the day. And I do really love black tea. Like sometimes I will, it's hard to believe, but sometimes I will put down the coffee for a minute and I'll have a black tea. She asks, what is your favorite movie of all time? It's really hard to pick one favorite movie um, because there's so many genres and so many like different things. Uh, one that just popped into my mind that I really liked is called Brick. It has uh, Joseph Gordon-Levitt in it, and it's kind of an older movie, and I don't think it's that well known, but it's this whole like film noir style, but it follows a bunch of teenagers, um, and Joseph Gordon-Levitt's character is like the detective, if you will. I really liked that movie. Also, The Princess Bride, of course, that's a classic that I really enjoyed. All right, guys, so that was every last question that you all asked me for my Q&A. I hope you guys enjoyed it, and I will see you all in the next video. Bye, guys.